Jonathan, and thank you for being here. Just to cap that bio of guests, my name is Billy Shah, I have a painfully long history in journalism, and I'm now involved in this strange euphemistic thing we call cultural diplomacy. I don't know exactly what that is, but we know it when we're doing it. Uh, for example, earlier today I found myself at a recreation of a traditional Song Dynasty tea ceremony. And we were wished, before we sampled the tea, happy drinking, happy eating, happy chatting, presumably the three principles of happiness and conviviality. We were also told the most important thing in culture is to find yourself inside your art and culture. But I would add and modify that by saying that art and culture are also about finding others. This evening's event celebrates the importance of literature, examines the diversity and depth of cultural creativity within Europe, and looks at the ways in which a multidisciplinary, multilingual, multicultural literary environment supports free expression, increases cultural understanding, and maintains open and welcoming borders of creative influence and artistic change. Creativity, whether visual or literary, in song or dance, expressed by pen marks or the click of a shutter, is the most boundless, anarchic, positive force in the world. It has been with us for as long as we've been on the planet. Yet each of us will only explore a fraction of what is out there, unless we make the effort to broaden our vision. Through creativity, we make something from nothing. In doing so, we choose what kind of world we want to live in. One which is insular, monocultural, wedded to one history and one method, or one which is varied, adaptive, alive, and open, which values each voice and each expression, and accepts political, technological, artistic, and demographic change on the understanding that this will enhance, not threaten, the world we live in. Yes, sometimes things are lost in translation, but many more things are gained. Stories, whether artistic or political, generated by a poet or a journalist, are not foreign or other or suspect or inferior because they're different. Instead, the new artistic form, the new language, the new speaker is offering an opportunity for us to learn, to understand, to be inspired, and to increase our scope. Our speakers tonight will each bring their own expertise and understanding to the question of what literature means to Europe. Each will present for about five minutes. I'll then address a few questions to the panel, and then we will open up to questions and comments from the floor. Please keep it brief, just so that we can hear from as many people as possible. And perhaps we can then continue to talk more informally over cocktails. 